This is how to install Rasplex 1.7.1 on a Raspberry Pi. First, you need to open a browser to rasplex.com. Next, navigate to the Get Rasplex menu and choose Manual Installation Instructions. Scroll down to the Mac OS slash Linux section and click the GitHub link. Scroll down to the Download section and for Raspberry Pi 1 and 0, choose the link that ends in rpi.arm.img.gz. For Raspberry Pi 3 and 2, Choose the link that ends in rpi2.arm.img.gz. This will start the download. Once you've downloaded Rasplex, you'll need to write this image to a micro SD card. If you don't have an image writing program already, I recommend Etcher, which is compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac. Open Etcher and click Select Image. Here, choose the Rasplex image we just downloaded. With Etcher, this can be a compressed image or uncompressed. Next, click on Select Drive. Here we will need to be careful and choose the correct removable storage. Lastly, click on Flash, and now we will just wait a few moments while I speed up the footage. Once the Rasplex image is written to the micro SD card, Etcher automatically unmounts this so you can safely eject it and put it into your Pi. Now let's jump over to the Raspberry Pi. When you boot your Raspberry Pi with a Rasplex image for the first time, you will go through an initial setup. Rasplex will expand the micro SD card and install some files. Once this is rebooted, you will shortly be presented with the welcome screen. The first option is to choose your network or leave it as default and click next. Next up is the option to calibrate your screen. If you are happy with the display, then click next. Now you are given the option to sign into Plex. If you already have a Plex account, then sign in here, otherwise click next. Here you can set up pre-caching for faster load times of media metadata. If you'd like to do this later, then just click next. And lastly is the thank you screen. Click exit and you're almost done. If you wanna add your Plex media server manually, press left and choose preferences. Press left again and go down to the world icon. Now go down to media server and enter your server's IP address and port. That's it. Subscribe to TechWiz Time on YouTube for more great content. Imagine, learn, create.